Assalamu alaikum. In today's video, I will be teaching you about the inferior vena cava and its tributaries. One thing that I want to tell you is that whenever we talk about arteries or aorta, they are having always branches. And when we talk about veins or vena cava, they always have tributaries. So, without wasting much time, let's start with this inferior vena cava. It basically lies on the uh, right side of the median plane of your body. And the abdominal aorta, as you can see in our previous videos, it lies in the left side of the median plane of the body. The inferior vena cava and abdominal aorta, they both lie in the posterior abdominal wall. One more thing that I want to tell you is that the abdominal aorta it is the continuation of the descending thoracic aorta. So basically we can uh, like get a trick from this that the abdominal aorta it goes above downwards and this inferior vena cava it goes down to up. Okay, to the right atrium of the heart and you we also know this basic concept that in the right atrium we have the uh, superior inferior vena cavas. Okay, so this is that inferior vena cava. Then, just see over here that this is our right and left common iliac veins when they uh, fuse uh, to form the inferior vena cava above. And this union of the right and left common iliac veins, it occurs opposite the lumbar 5 vertebrae or I can say opposite the body of the lumbar 5 vertebrae. Okay, so uh, this inferior vena cava, it is literally very easy if you see the video of the abdominal aorta. All the uh, arteries, uh, uh, I can say branches of the abdominal aorta and the tributaries of the inferior vena cava are more or less uh, same, uh, but there are just slighter difference. Okay, so first of all, I would like to tell you these that uh, the tributaries of the inferior vena cava, these are the inferior vein, uh, phrenic veins, right and left below the diaphragm okay this is brown curry is diaphragm so right and left inferior phrenic veins then we have the hepatic veins then we have the uh, right suprarenal vein uh, I will tell you later why I am saying just right suprarenal vein and right renal vein okay so then right gonadal vein uh, renal veins are both actually but the right suprarenal right gonadal veins are uh, I am just saying right part okay then we have the four pairs of lumbar veins so, uh, now I will tell you why I am just saying the right suprarenal and right gonadal vein. As you can see in this diagram, this is the right renal vein, okay? And this so right suprarenal vein, it is a direct tributary of the uh, 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 inferior vena cava. And the right gonadal vein, it is also a direct tributary of the inferior vena cava. But when you see in the left side, this is the left renal vein. So, this right, left suprarenal and left gonadal vein, these are the uh, branches or I can say tributaries of the left renal vein and then left renal vein is the direct tributary of the inferior vena cava so they drain indirectly left suprarenal left gonadal vein they direct uh, they drain indirectly into the inferior vena cava through left renal vein but the right suprarenal right gonadal vein they drain directly into the inferior vena cava so i just said right parts now there are four pairs of the lumbar veins the third and fourth pair of the lumbar vein they drain di directly into the inferior vena cava uh, this is not shown in the diagram very clearly i just uh, uh, like drew the lumbar veins to tell you that there are four pairs but uh, the concept is the third and fourth pair of lumbar veins they drain directly into the inferior vena cava while the first and second lumbar vein they first of all unite and they form the ascending lumbar veins and then this ascending lumbar vein it drains into the inferior vena cava now uh, there is a mnemonic for this uh, i like to rise so high okay so uh, the, uh, you can just learn this mnemonic uh, this is not actually serially but uh, uh, you can get this from i this is the inferior uh, phrenic veins okay then l uh, lumbar veins okay then t uh, this is the thing that you need to uh, remember in mind that for t it is a testicular vein so uh, by testicular vein you can get it as gonadal vein right gonadal vein because gonads in male we know uh, it is the testis and um, in female we know the ovaries so testicular or the ovarian vein we can say so but uh, to make this uh, mnemonic good uh, we write two then there is rise then for rise it is the renal vein S is the suprarenal vein and H is the hepatic veins. So uh, this is it for today. Hope you like this video. Please do like, share, comment and subscribe. And please do tell in the comment section which videos you want next. Thank you. Yeah.